Hi everyone, my name is Chuang Gan, a principal researcher at MIT IBM Watson LI. Today, it's my great honor to present our recent work on using structural representation for video understanding. We are in an era of big multimedia data. In a single minute, there are over 300 videos will be uploaded to YouTube. Such large-scale video data require machine learning model to achieve high accuracy, but with low computation cost. So, in recent years, designing efficient deep neural network for video understanding have received considerable attention in both academic and industrial research labs. One of the state-of-art models is designed by us last year, named as TSM. Temporal Shifting Module. TSM enjoys both high efficiency and high performance, and now has been widely used in many video-related applications. The key idea of TSM is to shift part of the channel along the temporal dimension, thus enable information exchange among neighboring frames. It can be inserted into any CNN architecture to achieve temporal modeling at zero computation and zero parameter cost. TSM offers several unique advantages. Firstly, TSM has high performance. It ranks the first on something something leaderboard for a while. Secondly, TSM has high efficiency. It achieves real-time video recognition on mobile. Thirdly, TSM has higher scalability compared to 3D network, enable large-scale kinetic training on 100 GPUs in only 15 minutes. So, very impressive result on action recognition we have achieved. A natural question arises: Have currently end-to-end -end deep learning model already achieved human-level intelligence? On video understanding? The answer, the answer probably will be no. Let us take this whole video as an example. When we human look at this video shown here, not only can we can describe the event that happened here, but we can also reason about the causal structure behind the events, making predictions about the future and even imagine an observed counterfactual scenario. We believe a smart AI system should not only solve the pattern recognition problem, but should also have the ability to capture the cause and effect in the physical world. To this end, in collaboration with MIT, Harvard University, and DeepMind, we built a new video understanding dataset called Clever. Collision event for video representation and reasoning. We hope to push the boundary of temporal and causal reasoning in videos. The Clever video dataset consists of 20,000 synthetic videos and around half a million questions with well controlled bears. It also provides ground truth notation of the video state for model diagnosis. The question includes four, type, uh, four different types of tasks focused on causal reasoning, including descriptive, explanatory, predictive, and counterfactual. Let us now take a look at an example of the video from this data, from this data site. Among the four type of questions, descriptive question Ask the agent about the event happening during the video. For example, you might ask what's the material of the last object to collide with the sign cylinder? The answer should be metal. And for explanatory question, ask the model to explain the cause of a special event by choosing another event based on what is responsible for that. In this example, the collision between the rubber sphere and sand cylinder 
push the cylinder to make another collision with the other metal cylinder. Therefore, we regard the answer should be the second collision that caused the causes by the first. Pre detailed question ask about the future event after the video terminates. In this example, the metal sphere will be moving along the right right uh, 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 arrow and collide with the right sphere. So we will choose the second answer. For the last one, counterfactual question requires the model to imagine the outcome when one object is removed from the scene and select the event that will happen under the unobservable scenario. For example, when we ask what will happen without a science cylinder, the answer should be the second one. The right sphere and the great object collide. Okay, we first evaluate the performance of a wide range of baseline models, including current state of art model on video question answering on video question answering dataset and image reading dataset. From this table, we can find while the max network achieved more than 85 accuracy on descriptive question, but all models performed poorly on the remaining explanatory, predictive, and counterfactual task. We believe to solve this causal reasoning task, the machine learning model is required to using the structural of the central representation and implicitly capture the dynamic of the video internal state. This might make me have make the model have some chance to achieve better performance. Based on this observation, we design a new model called Neural Symbolic Dynamic Reasoner, which we use structural visual and language representation to tackle this challenging causal video reasoning task. In particular, our model first part video video frame into an object centric structural representation that includes the position information and static attributes such as the color and the shape of each object. Then, we send this representation to a dynamic model to predict the object trajectory across different frames using a graph neural network. The input question is passed into a program representing its underlying logic by the sequence-to-sequence -sequence neural network. Finally, the program is executed by a symbolic executor on the predict motion trajectory to observe to output an answer. Let's now look at an example of an SDR performing counterfactual reasoning. Here, the upper window shows the input video and the lower window shows the predict trajectory when science signal is removed. Our model is able to capture the counterfactual event without observation and answer the question correctly. More quantitative evaluation show that our model improved the performance on Clever, especially on the more challenging plenary, predictive, and counterfactual questions. This result further demonstrates that implicit structural representation and dynamic modeling is an essential missing component for solving this task and our model built in this knowledge so we can achieve better performance. Ok, take home message. First we want to say that you propose a new dataset to study causal reasoning on video and also we start a normal model that incorporates structural representation and also the implicitly, and the implicitly object centric dynamic and this enables us to do a better job on the, on the challenging video, video causal reasoning task. Currently, Clever Video Data is, is, is available online, so please visit our site for download and further detail of the detail for the detail of the dataset. 
Okay, the second lubrication I want to show is using structural repetition to help breathe sound separation. The task of visual sound separation is that, given a music performance video, our goal is to separate different sound com components from these mixture videos. Recent deep learning approach have achieved impressive performance on visual sound separation task. However, this approach are mostly built on appearance and optical flow like motion facial repetition. They always have limited ability to find the, color, the correlation between audio signal and the visual pulse, especially when separating multiple instruments of the same type. Let's, let's take a look at example. It's clearly that using raw RGB and optic flow feature actually can do nothing on separating this kind of very hard mixture examples. To address this challenge, we propose music gesture, a key point based structural representation, to implicitly model the body and the finger movement of musicians when they perform the music. Concretely, our model is consists of two components, a video analysis network and a visual audio separation network. The video analysis network first takes a video frame and to extract global contact feature using reset phase. And then we try the human body key point coordinate using open source open post API and using a graph neural network to integrate the body dynamic cues. We can balance the appearance and the key point feature as visual, as visual condition. Finally, we apply an audio visual future model to associate body movement with the corresponding audio signal. Okay, let's now watch the demo video to appearance the result. This result is generating by, pre by previous state of art sound of motion. It clearly lights this model can do nothing for these very hard cases. Okay, let's take a look what, what's the performance of our model. Okay, let's see piano.
And we also have results that for separating sound instrument of multiple instrument. Another benefit of the keypon structure limitation is that it can it can help to isolate the sound of body part. Let's see another cool video on the sound of body part. Yeah, in this multimodal project, we clearly show that using structural key point based representation actually can help us to do more changing tasks. We believe our insight using object central representation and also other uh, key point based structural representation can really push up I mean, the next level performance gain on video understanding. Thanks for your attention.